Let's talk about Marianne Williamson. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I shouldn't, I really shouldn't laugh, but this lady is, she's, she's kind of goofy. I, I'll admit that. She's, she's Oprah's like spiritual guide or some, some, some along those lines. Um, I didn't know who the fuck she was until the last debates. She popped up and I was like, who is this broad? <laughs> what, what? And she slammed the media too, man. She, here's the thing with Marion Williamson. I, I caught one of her TED Talks uh, and um, I, I listened to the whole fucking 22 minutes of whatever. And here's the thing. She brings up a lot of points. And uh, she, she says like decent stuff, right? Like she talks about how uh, colonialism is entrenched. We are living in that, in a neo-feudalist society where, uh, a few people have more than the rest of the country, and it, you know, this, uh, disparity of income has now been wrapped around gender and race and all this other stuff. But she's so scatterbrained, and I don't think she really has any sort of solution except just love, right? Like, that's her big, I guess that's her big thing. Um, and she's big in the meditation world. She's big in like uh, that that sort of, that sort of world. I'm not. I don't even really know how to like really describe that that end of things. Um, and I, and I don't. I like don't want to be mean about it um, because I feel like she's one of those people that like you mean real well. You're just a little kooky. You're just a little kooky. You know, like Marianne's just a little kooky. Um, but one of the things she addresses, which I think kind of ties back into a lot of Andrew Yang's UBI conversation, is uh, purpose. People are looking for a purpose. And um, that's kind of why people fall into these big personalities, especially these political per personalities, right? They, that this person is so engaging that it gives, that they feel like by backing this per person up, they, are, they have a purpose. Uh, I watched... Um, this movie critique my buddy Vincent Didiano of P.O. Vincent uh, which is a movie review podcast great movie review podcast I've been on a few times I have a lot of fun with Vincent uh, um, but he was showing me uh, this channel that he watches uh, where this guy like does deep cut reviews of of Christian movies and one of them's called like the Trump prophecy or, or, or some shit like that and it's crazy and it's like based on a true event about how these evangelicals like thought Trump was basically doing the work of Jesus Christ and they like created this prayer thing and they wholeheartedly believe that they elected Trump because Trump was the dude right like Trump would like uh, there's this firefighter also like one of the things about the movie is like there's this firefighter that like um had a vision that Trump was going to be the president in 2016 or whatever or he was going to be a nominee or something like that and then they started this prayer thing to like make him the nominee which is like does that defeat the purpose of a prophecy uh anyway but if but that goes to being like people need a purpose and they'll do anything to find a purpose even if they hook on to someone like trump who's a demagogue who's a fucking capitalist he doesn't care about the working class people he's never had to be fucking working class before shit like that dude's never had to uh, uh, you know uh, worry about money Worry about where that's gonna come from. Worry about putting food on his table. Dude doesn't give a shit about a working class person. But a lot of working class people followed him because he said the right things to them. And they needed a sense of purpose. And one of their purposes was to elect this dude that was gonna be their savior. Like like, like a prophecy. Marion Williamson talks about that sort of shit, which is very, again, it's like, it's very interesting to see that sort of stuff in the debate stage. Hey everyone, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share it. Uh, these are little clips from a little segment I do called Road Reflections, where uh, I go live on my Facebook page uh, and talk about current events, creativity, uh, touring what's going on uh, in, in my life. So if you enjoy this kind of content, you can go and like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Krishmohan. Ha ha. Uh, I'm also performing live stand-up comedy 
all around the country. If you enjoyed these uh, little snippets of sociopolitical commentary, uh, it's very similar to what my stand-up comedy is. You can go to ramennoodlescomedy.com for all of the show dates and tickets. It's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. Uh, and if you want to continue supporting DIY, independent, socially conscious comedy content, you can become a patron today. I don't have uh, any corporate sponsors or any small business sponsors just yet. So at the moment, I am people-sponsored. I'm sponsored by you guys. So you can go to patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha and become a patron today starting at only $2 a month. You can check out all the tiers and rewards. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you soon.